the death anniversary of a former star athlete from Shreveport. Devin Myers was tragically shot and killed in March of 2022. KSLA's Jasmine Franklin sat down with Devin's mother to learn more about how his family is keeping his legacy alive. I've been learning to cope with it better. You know, I'm, we still going, you know, day by day. It's been two years since Tasha Myers lost her son, Devin, and she says each day without him is difficult. But it's, it's not getting easy. It's getting harder, but I'm learning and finding my outlet. In March of 2022, 17-year-old Devin Myers was gunned down near his home in the Queensboro neighborhood. He was a great young man. He was going somewhere with his life. Myers was a star basketball athlete at Huntington High School. He was a shining star and his life was just taken too soon. And Devin was a star on and off the basketball court. His mother says he was smart and even earned a 4.0 GPA. But he's loving, he's caring, he's supportive. Happy birthday to you. On March 3rd, Devin would have celebrated his 19th birthday. Instead, his family hosted a balloon release in his honor. Devin's mother says he had dreams of going off to college. Those dreams were tragically cut short. I was just waiting on him to see what he was going to do in college. I just knew it was going to be great, but unfortunately, we're just going to keep going and keep going and living his legacy and just remembering everything Devin was about. Devin's mother is carrying on his legacy through the nonprofit organization Friends of Devin. After losing her son to gun violence, Tasha created the organization to empower the youth to stay on a good path. When you're pulling these guns so quick, then you, you're going to jail for the rest of your life. So why would you want to go and spend the rest of your life in jail behind guns? The organization is hosting a basketball tournament on March 30th and a junior NBA game on April 6th. Reporting in Shreveport, Jasmine Franklin, KSLA News 12. Jasmine, thank you. A very emotional and touching story. And as always, you can find updates on this story on air and on our KSLA News 12 app.